happy Monday. Today is a fun one because I have a show tonight. Before that, we have a nice sunny afternoon, so I'm gonna go out for a run. I always find that I sing a little better if I go for a run before I have a performance, so we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll get ready for the show. It feels a little bit heavy, like I'm told it should. You know, typically I don't like to stop when I'm on a run because it kind of breaks the flow, but I'm running by this gorgeous view and I was realizing that if I was traveling right now, I would stop and admire it. And I think I need to do that more when I'm in my hometown. So I've stopped to admire. I was a little unready, didn't know if I could. It's obviously been a few hours. I finished my run. I ended up doing six miles through lower Manhattan. I don't know if running content is interesting at all because obviously that's not really the normal travel and music stuff that we do on this channel, but I am currently preparing to run next year's New York City Marathon. So if that's interesting at all, let me know and I can talk about it more. <laughs> I still have a couple hours before I have to get ready for my show, so I'm gonna do some of the filming that I have to get done. One of the things I'm filming is a YouTube video that by the time you're seeing this has already gone up, so I'll link it around here somewhere. I'm on my way to the show now. The venue where I'm playing tonight is called Pete's Candy Store which sadly is not actually a candy store, but it is a really sweet little venue and I'm just super excited for the show. Everyone is saying It's not a choice that I need to make It's just a voice pointing out everything that's at stake No one I know is gonna show me the way But I know staying put is still choosing to stay Thank you so much! Last night's show was so much fun. It was just a really, really nice night and such a weird way to start off the week because it was such a highlight and now it's just Tuesday. <laughs> For the past couple weeks, I've actually been taking an online guitar class. It's been interesting and a friend of mine's actually taking the class too and we live in different cities. So I always love when I get to see her on the Zoom call. <laughs> Class just ended and the sun is sadly already about to set. I'm headed to a show. I'm not performing again, but there is a band that I performed on the same bill with a couple months ago and they have another show in Brooklyn tonight. I'm almost at the show now. The venue is called Brooklyn Music Kitchen and I've actually never been there before. However, I am performing there myself in October. So if you're in New York City and you're watching this before October 22nd, come see me play at Brooklyn Music Kitchen. <laughs> I'm back home from the show and I'm gonna get ready for bed soon, but before I do, I just wanted to say how special tonight was. I haven't really shared a ton of what my life looks like when I'm at home in New York and focusing on music. There's such a community here and I feel so grateful to be a part of it, especially because I come and go so often. The fact that every time I'm back, the community welcomes me back in. It's something really special and I'm really excited to be sharing it with all of you. Today is Wednesday. So far I haven't filmed anything today because I've just been working from home. I went out for a run. I actually ran into one of the people that performed last night. That used to happen all the time when I lived in Dublin, but that does not happen often in New York. Right now I'm headed to meet up with another music friend for a cup of coffee. And then later tonight I'm headed to bar trivia with my brother and a whole group of friends. He talks a little bit to me like I wish he would. He sees a little bit through me where the walls once stood. I just had such a lovely coffee and chat with my friend, and now I have a little bit of time before trivia, so I'm gonna take a nice long stroll along the waterfront here in Williamsburg where there is a gorgeous view of the Manhattan skyline. With everything and nothing. This walk is a really great reminder of how lucky I am to be here. Even though I'm really, really grateful anytime I go visit a new city, 
I think that I forget to apply that same mindset to New York City. So this has been a good week for practicing that. And everyone is saying it's not a choice that I need to make. It's just a voice pointing out everything that's at stake. No one I know is gonna show me the way. But I know staying put is still choosing to stay. It is already almost dinner time on Thursday. I've just been working from home, so nothing too interesting to share with you all yet but a friend of mine is hosting what he's calling a campfire. It's essentially a song share, but the rules are if it's your first time, you have to play a cover. And if you've been there before, you've unlocked the privilege of singing an original. So I've never been before. It's gonna be all new friends. So I'm doing a cover. I haven't 100% decided what I'm gonna sing yet, but I think I'm gonna have to make a last minute decision on that. We have made it to Friday. Last night's campfire was so much fun. I didn't film a ton though because it was super, super small and intimate. I ended up doing a cover of an Anais Mitchell song, which if you know me, you know she's one of my songwriting heroes. It was just super fun and a very unique way to spend a Thursday night. It's a bit loud where I am right now because we're right next to a highway but I found a free comedy show online. It's actually not a free show, but I found a promotion that they're doing where they're giving out tickets for free. I've never been to this place before. I think it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna go see some free comedy. The comedy show was so fun. I think we saw about six or so comedians. The area that I'm in is a very popular going out neighborhood. There's this German beer house that I've been to a couple times called Radagast. It's very popular and we're gonna go see what it's like on a Friday night. Happy Saturday. Last night was just the perfect night out. It was nothing crazy, but the comedy show was really fun and then going for beers after was great. So now I'm all set up for a productive Saturday. I pretty often spend Saturdays wrapping up the week's YouTube video so it can be posted Sunday morning. So that's today's plan. I just had a crazy productive afternoon at that coffee shop. As much as it is Saturday, and I would love to say I'm gonna have a big Saturday night now, um, I'm not. I'm actually gonna go to bed early because I have a race tomorrow morning. So I'll explain more about that tomorrow. Today is the Fifth Avenue Mile. It is a one mile race, just like it sounds, down Fifth Avenue. I'm super excited, just a little sleepy. <laughs> We've made it here to Fifth Avenue. You can see the Met right behind me and there are runners everywhere. This is a really big race, so lots of people are warming up right now. This is the shortest race that I've ever done. I'm not a sprinter, so I don't know how a one mile race is gonna go, but it's gonna be beautiful. I think it's gonna be a really cool experience. Also, my mom is doing the race with me. Hi. <laughs> It's really fun. It went by very quickly because it was only one mile. I think my official finish time was seven minutes and 16 seconds, something like that. Definitely the fastest I've ever run. So I'm very happy. It's just a lot of fun.
And with that, we have made it to the end of the week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so glad I got to share with you a little bit of what my life looks like when I'm home in New York City. I have already booked my next trip and it's a big one. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm headed yet, but I would love to know your guesses, so leave them in the comments. As always, the song that's been playing throughout this video is one of my originals. You can stream it anywhere you get music online. I'll also link it down below in the video description. If you aren't currently following me on Spotify or Instagram, please do. I've linked them down below and every single follow makes a huge difference for me as an independent artist. I'm gonna leave you here, but please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because there's a lot more coming. I'll talk to you then. But I'm working on my foreign